We all know that what we eat greatly influences how we think or feel. Same goes for our physical environment. In nature, lighting and color provide deep cues for our natural rhythms. Understanding how we can innately respond to these cues can guide our lighting design for our events to achieve intentional results because light creates more than just visual effects. Welcome to Events Demystified Podcast, the rant series, where we go off the calf and say it as it is, tackling anything and everything in the AV production, technology, and event industry that not a lot of people are willing to talk about. The rant series is short and spicy, comes out twice a month in between the more tamed interview style episodes. This podcast is brought to you by Tree Fan Events, a woman owned boutique event production agency, and your host is Anka Trafan. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome to another rant in which I talk to you about something that I am a little bit passionate. Okay, maybe a little bit more now that we are coming back to doing in-person events. And I would like to expose how light and color can impact our emotions in event design. Now, I won't say that I potentially have had this specific topic as a TEDx pitch that I gave a few years back and they were like, what are you talking about? We don't want to hear about this. Honestly, they didn't. It just didn't match that year's particular topic. However, maybe I'm going to pitch this again. But before I do that, I just want to bring this topic up because it's something that I am still passionate about, okay? I walk into a space and sometimes I feel certain ways and lighting has a lot to do with how that affects my emotions. And you know how when you walk into a dark space, you feel in a way oppressed and you don't understand why. Well, it's definitely playing a little bit of a trick on your emotions because lighting has the ability to have this biological and psychological effects that can impact the health and the well-being of us as humans. It can improve our mood. It can stabilize our circadian rhythms. It can decrease depression scores and even increase cognitive performance such as reaction time and activation. Colors and emotions are closely linked and artists and interior designers have known this for a while. They definitely understood how colors can affect our feelings and our emotions and our mood swings. This is why, for example, the rooms in hospitals are often green, if you didn't notice. It's because green calms and reduces stress. In events, we use blue up lighting behind a speaker on the stage or around the room when we want to help create positive attention. There are six colors that form the basis of every other color. I'm taking you down the color to your road for a second. There's black and white that are technically the absence or the absorption of color. And then we have the primary colors, blue, red, and yellow, and the secondary colors, green, orange, and purple. There are many shades, hues, and things within this range made by adding black or white to a color and a thousand different different names in lighting design to use to describe these colors. More importantly for our events is the understanding of how color impacts our emotion. Color affects every element of design from brand development and marketing to culminating in live experiences. And by being intentional with the use of colors, we do have the ability to design meaningful event experiences for our audience and provoke certain emotions and behaviors. Our response to a colored environment happens deep within our brain, and it happens immediately, and it provides us with a level of control over the experience. For example, cool colors such as blue, green, and purple tend to create a sense of calm and trust. Warmer colors such as red, orange, and yellow 
tend to create a sense of energy and confidence. It is important to note, though, that colors can be subjective. What might make one person feel cheerful can make another person feel irritated, depending on past experiences or even cultural differences. While color is not completely agreed on universally, it has the ability to impact the way we feel and we need to take its effects into account when building and designing our events and the experiences around those events. I've always been fascinated with how lighting is one of the easiest way to control and change an environment because lighting can have such a profound impact on the way we feel. And I want to just give you a rundown, just a quick example on how the primary color can impact our emotions and our mood and let you decide for yourself how that might impact your event experiences. Blue has a calming effect, can increase communication, which can lead to a creative solution. And we all want creative solutions. Red denotes passion. It can increase the energy in a space. Yellow can signify hope and optimism. And in color therapy, it's used to treat depression. Orange stimulates the creative thought process and incites feelings of change. Green is the predominant color in nature and reflects freshness and potential for growth and healing. Violet or purple is the most spiritual color and inspires higher thinking. And that is one color that I've had one of my recent events paint the room with. And honestly, it definitely inspired a higher thinking in myself as I was dealing with a specific situation and a specific person that in maybe any other circumstance, if that room was red, they might be, I don't know, something could have happened to them. I'm not going to say what, but let's just say the purple of the uplighting in the room helped me get to a spiritual place where <laughs> inspire higher thinking as opposed to passion for finishing them because I was so frustrating with them. All jokes aside, it is important to note that color can be subjective, like I mentioned, and what might work for me might not work for you. Maybe purple means something else for you. I'm curious. What does purple mean for you if you are listening to this rant? I would love to hear more about what your take on color is because Personally, in my years of planning and producing events, I have paid a lot more attention on how sound and lighting have played such a primordial role in designing and creating this memorable event experiences because both lighting and color are such powerful elements. And I've been personally and honestly, very curious and started my own independent research about the impact that color can have even when it comes to fundraising events. So for example, this event that I just referenced uh, a little earlier, we had the predominant color be purple and it did fundraise over $275,000, the initial fundraising goal. So I'm thinking it might have worked. It did inspire a higher sense of fundraising and generosity since we were able to raise that much. I mean, I'm sure a lot of the work was done pre-event, as you can imagine. However, I like to believe that Purple had something to do with it, not just with my own personal mood, as I'm reflecting back on my own behind the scenes situation that I was dealing with at the time, but also with the audience at large as they were opening their pockets and becoming more generous in this spirit of purple colors all around and the emotion inspired by the color itself. So if you happen to have experienced something of this range in which a specific color has impacted you emotionally in one way or another, I would love to hear from you because it has been my experience and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's many other people out there that can testify that certain colors makes them feel a certain way. 
Let's have a conversation about that. This is my rant for today. Hopefully you learned something and it wasn't all about me being frustrated over something that I'm going to forget about pretty soon. Maybe I'm going to surround myself with more purple colors. As you can see in the background, I'm already doing that just to let it all fall off my shoulders and slide into the rear view mirror forever. Thank you for listening to the Rant Series of Events Demystified Podcast. If you enjoyed this series and the other interview-style podcast episodes, please take a moment to review it and rate it. If you'd like to take it one step further, feel free to share it with your network. Connect with Anchor on social by tagging at Events Demystified Podcast. And if you'd like to learn more about Tree Fan Event Services and find out if we're a good fit in supporting your event, can we help your event be successful with a 20-minute free consultation? Link in the episode's notes. Thanks for tuning in.